Our in-depth back to school coverage continues now this morning. When your college freshman heads off to school, there are plenty of shopping lists out there detailing what he or she will need. But there are a few more things that you should think about that aren't on those lists. Yeah, there are actually a handful of legal documents that you and your child really need to be aware of before they leave home. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now with those important details. It's certainly not something you want to think about, but the reality is accidents can happen while your child is away at college. So it's important to be prepared in case of an emergency. One way you can do that is by getting legal documents signed and making sure you have copies on hand. Before your child heads off to school, you should sit down and discuss privacy and under what scenarios these documents would be used. Here's a list. First, power of attorney. This can give you authority to sign documents on your child's behalf and give you access to his or her financial accounts. There are two options. You can either execute a durable general power of attorney or you can sign an access authorization form prepared by a financial firm that holds each of the student's accounts. Either way, having one will give you the legal authorization to assist your student. Second, healthcare proxy and living will. This would allow you to make medical decisions if your son or daughter is physically unable to do so. In some cases, parents find out too late that their child has been admitted to a hospital and they're not authorized to discuss treatment plans or make urgent decisions regarding care. A living will outlines a student's wishes about life extending medical treatment and addresses other intentions like organ donation. Third, the HIPAA form. Named for the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, this form authorizes medical care providers to release and share medical information about the student with parents. Without it, health providers are legally prohibited from sharing this information, even with the student's family members. A small number of students may also want to consider creating a will. It's not necessary for most students because most don't have that many possessions. But if a student owns real estate or is the beneficiary of a trust, a will can ensure that there are plans in place for those possessions. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News. And our back to school coverage continues on Eyewitness News starting live at 5 tonight on WPRI 12. Football fall off. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau takes a close look at what could be a, uh, contributing uh, here to what could be contributing to the decline in Rhode Island's most popular high school sport. And at 6, we take a look at what schools are doing to reduce the number of concussions that are suffered on the field. What do you think about it? Is your child's school doing enough to keep athletes safe from concussions? We'd like you to join the conversation. Head to our WPRI 12 Facebook page and weigh in.